Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's April the 3rd, 2023, and today I'm gonna to show you a few things that I got in the mail last week. The first one I'm gonna show you is this envelope from Bernardo in Mexico. He sent me a few German stamps of uh, varying ages, so I thought I'd give you a chance to see what he sent. This one is fantastic. The playing card, um, just great imagery on it, the length of it, as you can see, based on the one next to it. Nice voyage ship. And this looks like it's probably some sort of a sea creature by the looks of it, but you may know better. Leave a comment if you do. Nice little house. Older stamp here. DDR. Nice trestle bridge. I like this one, that's a similar shape, but uh, orientation is a little different. All right. Nice little packet of stamps there. So thank you very much, Bernardo. So not only was I fortunate enough to get this envelope from Bernardo, I got this envelope from Virginia in Manitoba. And uh, in it, she answered my question number two from uh, the Saturday uh, series that I put out um, at the start of each month. I give you a question, and then I give you a month to send me a postcard to the address uh, with your answer on it. So last Saturday, two days ago, at the recording of this video anyways, um, I put out that video and so you get to see what uh, card she sent in there, what answer uh, she sent. There is a new question out there so if you go ahead and watch Saturday's video you'll see what question number three is and if you want to participate all you got to do is write number three and your answer to question number three on a postcard and mail it to the address that is in the description of all my videos. So hopefully you'll do that and uh, participate if you like. All right now this is the envelope that she sent. And in it, there were a couple things. First, there was this envelope, which is a, you know, the Great Seal of the United States. Very cool embossed seal there. And then we've got some older stamps on it. So that envelope was in it. And inside that envelope was this first day cover that uh, was issued in Calgary based on the marks that are on here. Uh, the stamp on it is Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Uh, if the last name sounds familiar, it's because this is the father of our current Prime Minister. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Justin's father, Pierre Elliott, was Prime Minister of Canada first, and now he's Prime Minister. Just like in the States, I guess you had uh, George W. and uh, George Bush, father and son, both been presidents, so it happens in other countries too. All right. Along with that, she sent the following stamps. There were a few stamps that were on paper. Really like these Shakespearean stamps. I haven't seen them before. Or even the, uh, the Girl Guide uh, stamps there at the top. The Campfire Girls, which I think is a form of the Girl Guides. I may be wrong on that. It says it was from 1910 to 1960. So maybe it was something completely different. But I, it looks like it's probably the Scouts. And then the Forever stamps. You've seen these come around. Well, she's included the... Orange one, and then the pink one, and the green one. And then we have these stamps from Bismarck, North, North Dakota. The Christmas stamp on there. And a nice bald eagle stamp. And I really like this a USS Constitution from the War of 1812. We've got a sub and then we've got a, a nice pleasure craft boat there as well with a postmark from Greensboro, North Carolina. And then we have these ones here. Hawaii statehood stamps. We got four of those. One of them's got a little nicked up here in the corner, unfortunately, but other than that, they look pretty good. With a postmark from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then we have this John F. Kennedy stamp, who was president of the United States until he was assassinated in 1963. 
and it doesn't look like it was canceled at all. It does have a uh, mark out of the corner here. That's uh, it's missing a bit there, but other than that, it looks pretty good. So there are the variety of stamps that Virginia sent. I want to say a special thanks to Bernardo in Mexico and Virginia in Manitoba for um, blessing me with these uh, surprises that I get to share with you. Um, I feel very honored anytime uh, someone takes of their personal collection or things that they've uh, gathered from other people and decide to send it to me so I can show it on the on the uh, channel. That's great. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. I you have no idea uh, how much it uh, excites me when I see something in the in the mail that's uh, addressed to me that's uh, unexpected. So yes, I knew Bernardo was going to send me a letter. Uh, we've exchanged cards before, uh, but he added a few extra things in it. Uh, he had a couple postcards from one of his recent trips to uh, California and these stamps. So thank you, Bernardo, for uh, thinking of me while you were away and sending these things up. And uh, to Virginia, too, for uh, answering my question for uh, question number two of my Saturday series and for also including some of these stamp items that I get to show. Uh, I really appreciate it. There's some great, uh, great stamps on this in uh, this grouping i really like these shakespearean stamps they're the ones that really stick out out of the ones you sent uh the john f kennedy stamp was pretty cool too or the uss constitution um fantastic first day cover yeah it goes on and on so thank you so much for all those things now going forward what do we have to look forward to uh there's more post crossing that needs to be done there is uh a new series that I've been putting out. I put a video last week on Henrietta Edwards, and uh, I'm looking at doing another one this week. So if time permits, watch for that uh, if you're into some historical things. I know not everybody's into each of the different uh, areas that I cover, whether it's hiking, whether it's Lego, whether it's post-crossing stamps. I try to do everything uh, that I'm interested in and show you what, I, what I'm doing along the way. So if you're interested in following day-to-day, -day, then uh, watch each video. If there's a video that pops up that maybe you're not as much interested in, it's all right. I'm just glad that you tune in when you do. So thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, leave comments uh, so I know what interests you and uh, I'm able to interact with you guys as well. Uh, like it if you like the video and share it to other people that you might enjoy. I know I have uh, recently subscribed to a new channel. Uh, it was new to me. So it's uh, John Collects Stamps. He's in Great Britain, and um, I have found him through uh, Snail Mail with Smokey, and he, he subscribed to my channel, and so it popped up, and so I thought, well, I'll check out what he's got and really enjoy it. He's uh, really good at showing um, his stamp collection and the different things that come in, so uh, I'm happy that I, I can follow him along as well now. And uh, he seems to be subscribed to mine, so maybe he's watching a few of my videos as well. If you're watching, John, hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, you guys, have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.